Hey everybody, um, wanted to start this week off, I'm actually starting about a minute earlier than what I typically do, um, primarily to let some folks jump on uh, if they didn't know that I was live. So um, before we get really deep into this, uh, I wanted to do what I do every week, a uh, quick you know, call of action. If you can get one, if you do follow us on Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, please jump on there check out some of our posts. We actually post a lot of deals. We post a lot of things that are going on um, throughout the the River District as well as here at the Bed and Breakfast. So if you can get on there, shoot us some remarks, shoot us some comments, like some of our feed, really helps us out. Um, this being said, wanted to go over a few of our events that are coming up this coming weekend. We have the, uh, the River Walk. Um, or the River District downtown has the music walk which is going on it's always a great time typically starts right around the six o'clock hour goes until around 10 o'clock at night um, bands up and down each different you know all different roads you have bands at Ponce de Leon you have bands down Dean Street you have bands down Broadway um, bands everywhere tons of fun um, you usually have vendors and food and such so it's it's a great uh, it's a great time to get downtown and check that out um, on Saturday, there is a, um, a, to continue with the Ponce de Leon concert series, um, there's a band there called Don't Wait Up. Um, I checked them out a little bit today. It looks like it's kind of like more of that, like, um, 80s rock, early 90s rock type of music. Um, starts at 7 p.m. in Ponce de Leon on October 19th. Um, also, Barrel Room is having um, a band, or it's a blues band. The guy's name's Danny Franchi, 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 F R A N C H I. I apologize for not knowing how to say that. Um, so, give that a try. It starts at 7 p.m. as well. And then on Sunday, the Alliance for the Arts, which is only a few blocks down here from uh, from us, we have um, the. 11th annual Italian festival on the 20th. So sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we didn't get a chance to go down to the festival that the Alliance of the Arts had last week. Um, just had a lot going on. Um, we've actually been, been bulking up a good bit here at the end, which has been great. Uh, have have had a lot of business. And for being this early on in the season, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, that being said, like I mentioned also last week, we have a, a ton of great history tours. We have the Edison Ford Winter States, just three blocks south of us. We have Gina Taylor's True Tours, um, which picks up on Saturday mornings at 10.30. It's a great tour as well. She's also, this time of the year, she also does um, ghost walking tours, ghost walk history tours. Um, pick up typically on Friday nights and Saturday nights this time of the year, and then she does bulk up as the season progresses. So coming into November and December, she will start pushing for more evenings than just the two. They start probably at eight o'clock. Um, it's a great time. We've done them. My daughter does them for, for Girl Scouts. So it's a uh, it's a ton of fun. You get to hear some history of the of the River District as well as some of the ghost stories. So especially this time of the year being October, getting into um, being that it's Halloween, it's a lot of fun to, to, to go check out. Um, one of the big events that's coming up, and I, typically I wouldn't announce this one until next week, but being that it is a three-day event, I almost find that it will be worth checking out. So we have the Fort Myers Oktoberfest Festival. It is a three-day event, starts on the 25th and goes until the 27th. Um, it's a fairly decent sized footprint. Um, if anyone was down here for the events or for the seafood festival that they had back in, um, I believe it was in February, no, January, um, it kind of encompasses the whole, that, that size footprint. So sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. They've got bands, they've got beer, they've got brats. So you really can't go too much wrong for that. You're gonna have some, uh, some polka music, you're gonna have some jazz, you're gonna have some souls and blues, some classic 70s rocks to present, um, Americana, like 50s and 60s. Um, you're gonna have, ooh, they have a Tom Petty tribute band. That actually might be a lot of fun. That's on the 27th. So look for more information on our Facebook page as well as the River Districts page as the next few days move on. Um, <clears throat> this being said, I wanted to get into some of the 
main dialogue of what this Facebook feed or this this Facebook live was going to be about um, you know being that we are at our year mark I've done a lot of thinking in the last couple of days and sort of thinking back of kind of like our do's and our don'ts and what we found building up to this point and you know and and we're building up to purchasing and then coming into the year so there's a lot of things that we did last year obviously being new um, that we are going to not do this coming year um, <clears throat> I know one of the biggest things that scared us right off the bat um, and I'm glad we did purchase it when we did being in October because we were going into the high season <clears throat> and going into the high season you always are gonna have revenue coming in so you always want to make sure that you look at when you're purchasing a business as to if you have the the income to sustain yourself through slow seasons into into the busier season if you start at the beginning of a slow season you don't know how the money's going to flow it's a little tougher to and, and it will cause you a great deal of stress um i will say that there were a couple times this summer that not that we weren't in bad shape we were in good shape at all times but we were in a position where we were a little less than what i wanted to be um and there was a couple times of you know we we made everything work but it got a little stressful on, on my end just to make sure everything clicked i didn't like going below a certain amount um of revenue for those months so but here we are year into it money's working everything's great meeting a lot of great people and working with a lot of contributors downtown um so things that kind of scared us initially was not so much the business we knew that we could work the business we knew that the business would do its thing as long as we pushed into that business um was quitting our jobs not knowing if the money was going to be there to be able to pay ourselves even though it was there's always in the back of your head what if what if what if um so that was always a concern now from where we were at to this from last year to this year there's been a lot of changes in not necessarily just the inn itself but even how we conduct ourselves with our guests how we run our our finances how we make breakfast um you know it's working through what works what doesn't work and what can we change to make our system better um that's really the the key is you see something working if it stops working or becomes a rough to, to, to follow through, um, you make the changes accordingly to make it work for what you have to do. Um, you also, which I had to do, I had to learn an incredible amount of patience, um, not necessarily just with, you know, with myself, with our family, because it was a huge, it was a huge upright, I mean, upbringing from, you know, where we were at in Maryland, what we were doing, and it was our lives, to where we are now and what we're doing now. So even though I still have my moments where I'm ready to kind of jump off the edge, I still had to create uh, in myself a great deal of patience to be able to work through problems differently than what I did a year ago. Um, now, being that I only have, you know, a few more minutes left i do want to talk about some reminders that are coming up um kind of get off the main dialogue a little bit i don't want to necessarily get too involved with um uh with kind of the the personal ends of, of the business because it's it's working and i don't want to jinx myself so but reminders wise um we are co-hosting a bluegrass concert with coastal days brewer coming up november 15th it starts at six o'clock the bluegrass band is called Easy Pickens. We've seen them once at Point Yebo and talked to Gary or Jerry a couple times. Good folks, good people. Um, put together a couple videos for or with them. They in turn want to see about having me put together a couple videos for them for their video page or for their Facebook page. So pretty excited to talk to Jerry more about that and see what exactly their um, their idea is. So. Um, Hopefully, you'll be working with that probably over the next week or so. Um, be going to quite a few committee meetings, so we can kind of see a lot of ins and outs, but it's things we don't necessarily uh, committee meetings with the River District that we don't necessarily want to get too involved with right now. For reminders, um, oh, the Edison lights, the Edison holiday lights. 
This year starts in November, starts on the 23rd, I'm sorry, the 29th of December. Nope, the 29th of November and runs until December 23rd. They do not have any hours for the 24th or the 25th. So you're trying to come, so if you're trying to come to the Fort Myers area for Christmas, for Christmas Eve, for the holiday lights and then spend Christmas day here in Fort Myers, they will not be having the, the holiday lights on Christmas Eve or Christmas day. Um, they will restart up on the 26th and go until the 30th. Um, they tickets for a general mission run $20. They do have private tours or, or guided tours like they typically do run, I believe 30. Now they are running a deal right now where if you come in early and you do the tour through the day, um, and then the tour at night, I believe it's a $10 charge for the day, 20 at night. It's kind of a combo package they're putting together. So we could check out the, the website for that as well. Um, we are running a package right now um, with that, which would be $235. It's a one room or one night stay plus two general mission tickets. So if it's something you're interested in, you can always hit us up 239-332-2651. Uh, Give me a call there or visit our website and let me know what you're interested in and we can make it happen for you guys. Um, we also, on that same angle, we are running a, a Halloween special, which I totally forgot about until right now, um, with True Tours. Um, it's a $200, um, it's basically $200, one night stay here. That includes two adult admissions for the ghost walk for the evening she has it, either it's Friday or Saturday evening. So if it's something that you're interested in, once again, give us a call, check out our website. Um, I'm working on trying to get the packages on our website, but in some cases, it's not always the easiest to get done right away. So, um, but it's something I'm, I'm working on, especially because I think of the ideas and then the ideas trying to develop them take a little bit more time than what I think they should. Um, we are, where is it? We are also, oh, the giveaway. Um, last week I had mentioned a giveaway for the Edison Ford tickets. Um, we have not had anyone uh, redeem this at this time. So I'm gonna hold one, or I'm gonna hold it again. Um, once again, Facebook, uh, just a quick, a quick reminder, Facebook is in no way associated with this giveaway. Um, have to say that. Um, you have to book one night minimum to obtain the free tickets. And in the section of notes and special requests on the um, reservation page, you have to book, you have to type the word Facebook giveaway Edison. Um, you know, we got time for it. So definitely, you know, definitely jump on that if you are heading this direction. And if you are watching these videos, either live or if they are after the fact. Um, final kind of call of action. Like I said, guys, it really helps us out on social medias. If you follow us on Instagram, Twitters, of course, Facebook. Um, we are also trying to, right now, I'm working with my internet provider about building an email list. This, the idea behind it is I know I have emails from past guests. I also have emails for, um, you know, present guests that are that are that are already in my list. But I, I'm trying to put together a a compound, or I'm trying to put together a a way that I can actually get our guests, our past guests, information out. Um, if it be for you know these these little uh, the giveaways we're giving, or if it be for the little packages we're putting together. Um, this way they're they're aware and we're they're aware that we are doing these things Sometimes, you know, you're coming into town. You don't necessarily know what we're doing or how we're doing it It's just a matter of trying to get that information to them um, So hopefully I'll get something worked out with my internet folks or I'm sorry with my website people Hoping by next week. I got an email from her yesterday that said that they are working on what they can do for that so um, this all being said, guys, it is always fun. We are working on the 15 minute mark. Hope you enjoy these. Um, I will make sure that we do this again next week. 
and bring you some more information as much as we can as the as the season develops there's a lot not even just through the rda there's a lot that's going on in the fort myers area if you want to venture out away from the river district there are other things there i just have a tendency of wanting to focus here in town um, this being said if there's anything you're looking at specifically feel free to call me i have no problem helping you guys find what is going to make you enjoy your stay here in Fort Myers and here at the Hibiscus. So as we always say, you enter as guests, you leave as friends, and we hope to see you next week.